Hello, Pisces. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is coming and happening to your love life in the month of September? Or it is my intention of whenever you watch it, it's intended for that time. So the card that I got for you from the Doreen Virtues Romance Angels Oracle Cards is Religious Factors. So this could mean several different things. It can mean that there are some things in your that's uh, influencing your love life like differences such as cultures religious beliefs um, maybe you're from different ethnic ethnicities um, some type of differences between you could also depending on what cards come out for you can also uh, indicate that this is a deep spiritual soul bond so a soul connection but let's get some more cards for you Pisces and get a further deeper look to see what exactly is coming for you in the next month in love what's going on for Pisces in love okay so take these cards that's flipped over okay bottom of the deck we have the empress so this tells me with the empress being on the bottom of your deck that you probably are the divine divine feminine that is watching then we have the knave of pentacles these are such beautiful cards uh, the deck by the way is um, Nicoletta I can't say the last name Tro if you're interested we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Eight of Cups, the Queen, wait, no, that's the King of Pentacles. No, that's the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Emperor, the Three of Swords, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to put this down here. Okay. So, it looks like, so it does look like the Empress, um, start off from the top. So it looks like um, the Empress, you have go been going through, actively going through changes. Um, you're learning more about yourself. You're um, digging deep and doing your work. Um, yeah, you're actively working, trying to manifest the changes within yourself. So that way you can release expectations, things that no longer be uh, serve you. And you can uh, manifest and create um, your soulmate into your life. So things will get better with you and your soulmate. You're trying to manifest and work with your positive self-image and how you see yourself and your own value and your own worth. Um, it looks like you and your masculine here have been in some type of separation because this is the emperor. And that it has caused you to have some hurt feelings and some disappointments in this connection and you're trying to see things from a different perspective through your pain and heal your pain um, I do sense with the devil card there has been some sacral chakra activations um, where you may be feeling some intense sexual energy at this time it also helps you to create more creativity you can transfer that into creativity um, and also, your masculine may ride in when he's hot and heavy and horny, and it kind of makes you depressed because you're like, wait, I want more than that. Um, so what's coming for you in September is this Ten of Pentacles, which is this beautiful um, legacy energy. This is the growing old together, and um, possibly the beginning of this, of it moving forward, because she is going off that merry-go-round. She's She's coming off the merry-go-round and going towards her happiness. So, let's get some more cards for Pisces. 
it does look like this is a soul connection because we have the divine masculine and we have the empress and the emperor so both of you have lever leveled up and done your healing bottom of the deck we have sad so you both have been a little sad we have dream catcher which lets me know that y'all both have been dreaming of each other sorry if you hear my grandkids in the background we have musical messages so when y'all listen to music it does remind you of each other maybe one or both are musician but musicians we also have addiction battling or recovering from alcohol drug sex gambling or shopping addictions this also may indicate codependency and attachment styles that you may be may have been healing loyalty devoted protective best friend so it's great because it's like the majority that's going to resonate with this you did start off as friends so you have that deep um loyalty to each other and this is what you're building off of the great foundation emotions wanting to make an offer but fears rejection so y'all are both um working on um y'all still still during this month i'm sorry but y'all still working on abandonment issues still doing your healing work so i don't see union coming in for the this next month I do see that you're still working and but as you're working on yourself y'all are making progression spirit do you have any messages for Pisces any loving messages for Pisces okay bottom of the deck we have look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way and we have Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So yeah, y'all both still have some healing to do, you and your masculine. But remember, healing is on a 3D level. You are in union in 5D and higher dimensions. So what is the last message for Pisces? We have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Oh, that's beautiful. So that is a beautiful parting message for you. Thank you so much for your time, Pisces. I wish you much love and abundance, and remember to always see through the lens of love. Bye-bye.